Hey guys, I'm Alicia Gentile, and welcome to Wednesday's episode of The Boaters TV. First up, let's see what's making a splash in nautical news. A catastrophe at sea leaves a tanker ship bleeding 66,000 barrels of oil into South Korea's coastal waters. Officials say this is likely the largest ever such spill in the Asian nation. A week ago, a crane barge punched holes into the oil tanker, which spewed 10,500 tons of its load into the ocean. This disaster is happening in waters five miles off Malapo Beach, some 93 miles southwest of Seoul. The region is known for its scenic beaches and is home to a national maritime park, which is an important refueling stop for migratory birds. According to a Maritime and Fisheries Ministry official, the spill's potential impact on communities or wildlife in the area was not immediately clear. However, recovery of the oil has been painfully slow and the Maritime Ministry conceded it was not properly prepared for such a disaster and did not have enough equipment. The Malapo government has declared a state of emergency. According to UN spokeswoman Elizabeth Burrs, the United Nations is sending environmental experts to assess damage from the oil spill following a formal request from South Korean authorities for international assistance. The team of experts will evaluate equipment needed for cleanup in the open sea and help assess the medium and long-term environmental damage. The United Nations has previously sent experts to help with the oil spill accidents in Lebanon and the Ukraine, as well as a toxic waste spill in Ivory Coast. Next up in power play, gas prices are on the rise and so is a concern for our environment. It seems as if it was only a matter of time before we saw hybrid power boats on the rise. You know, like nautical versions of the Toyota Prius hybrid car. Jim Shepard, who writes the blog about power boats on about.com, tells us Steyr Motors and Frauscher Bootswork, both Austrian companies, have collaborated on a new venture. Steyr Motors, the manufacturer of lightweight diesel motors, and Frauscher Bootswork, the manufacturer of 80 years worth of boats and combustion engines, have come up with a hybrid boat. This new vessel will be unveiled to the public in Dusseldorf, Germany in January of 2008 at the Boat Dusseldorf Show. I wonder if Al Gore will be there. Jim says this new system reminds him of the old German U-boat submarine propulsion system of the 1930s and 40s. For updates on the hybrid power boat, or if you want to learn more about Jim Shepard and his blogs, be sure to check out www.powerboat.about.com. Next up in our nautical know-how segment. For those of you who don't want to wait for the hybrid boat, there's an alternative. Solomon Technologies has some innovative ideas for the boating industry. But don't take my word on it. Hear it from the CEO of Solomon Technologies himself. Electric wheel is a, uh, a novel new arrangement of a planetary gear set and electric motors. Rather than the transmission being exterior to the motor, the transmission is physically built inside the motor. The uh, uh, device is, uh, consists of two electric motors that can uh, operate in forward and reverse directions totally independent of each other. Solomon Technologies has licensed uh, the, electric, the electric wheel patent uh, 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 for the remaining life of the patent, and uh, um, uh, that license is for all marine uses of the electric wheel. Some advantages of Solomon Technologies' electric drive are clean, quiet operation, regenerative motor sailing, better fuel economy and extended range, fuel-free motoring, greatly reduced maintenance, and lastly, power, safety, and exceptional maneuverability. Wow, I sound like a boat salesman with that pitch. Solomon Technologies is out of this world, literally. NASA approached Solomon Technologies after learning about the electric wheel and adapted the technology for the Sojourner Mars rover. In return, NASA developed the Electric Wheel Working Group, 
with engineers from universities, government research centers, and private industries. With the working group's help, Solomon Technologies has been able to test and refine system and establish cost-effective manufacturing procedures. I like the sound of that. For more information on Solomon Technologies and the electric wheel, visit www.solomontechnologies.com. And finally today, it's time to reveal Alicia's TheBoaters.com Celebrity Profile Pick of the Day, which is Captain Bombay, who we also know as Kyle, and his 40-foot express cruiser from Cruiser's Yachts Soft Touch. Kyle actually lives on Soft Touch during the summers on Lake Erie. A modern-day Magellan, Kyle spends the winters traveling and crewing on private yachts. He even set up a profile for the Bruiser 2, a boat he works on as first mate for the Captain Christo Charter Service. What we loved, of course, are all the great photos, mapped places, and how complete his profiles are. And for that, Captain Bombay has earned his The Boater's Hat. Congratulations. And that's a wrap on this episode of The Boater's TV. I'm Alicia Gentile. Join us back here on Friday.